dude that's a 200 megahertz silicon quality difference I've had a lot of consults lately with 3090 Founders Editions and Dev Airs. No afterburner installed. No pinging apps. And the more load, the more Dev Air. Now, this is really important so they don't so the thing is they don't get so okay if you have a 3090 fe you might not get dev errors right now but when you overclock your cpu and ram you're able to push way more fps putting way more load on your graphics card dev errors start coming up now the number one so okay the number one rule of troubleshooting anything on a pc is when something goes wrong it's usually the last thing that you touched right that's why so many people attribute dev errors like 6068 6661 they attribute these ones to ram and cpu overclocks because that's the last thing that they touch like oh i overclocked my ram and now i'm getting dev errors no it's dev errors are always the graphics card always so do you guys remember when uh ampere first came out when they had those capacitor capacitor with the boosting algorithms crashing all the games now when they patch it, it doesn't crash all the games but it still crashes warzone and it, it spikes just enough to crash warzone so I actually had uh, an FE consult the other day. I had to go minus 50 core in Afterburner to make it stop. Because, let me let me explain why. If you, So this is your Afterburner, right? Right here. When you press Control F and you look at the graph, this is my mining graph, don't pay attention to this. But when you look at your graph on a Founders Edition card, and you go over here to 1.1 volt this shit's at like 2040 like 2040 megahertz stock out of the factory dude and then it's like very rarely will you see 350 watt factory 3090s able to boost that high so you gotta move this down by like like put it down to like 1950 1900 and then your dev errors will stop so i've had to do some crazy like down clocks on people's founders edition cards to get the dev errors to stop dude and the problem is even more exasperated when you're trying to stream off of it too i had a guy that had to do minus 100 on that shit, dude he had to go minus 100 when he streamed the reason why streaming uses NVENC, the NVENC encoder, the game uses the regular game. So, like, you're putting, like, plus, plus the consult overclock, right? So, all of a sudden, his 3090 Founders Edition is getting, like, a, like three times as much load on it. It's just Dev Error City, man. Constantly. You just gotta keep minusing the core until it stops. So, I've had a lot of that shit going on lately with, with only with Founders Editions. I don't know why just because like, i guess the cooler is so shitty like the cooler they run hot as hell like like the founders like i think the founders editions just boost too high and they run too damn hot so if you know if you if you have a, like an overclocked cpu and a ram you're gonna start getting that shit with founders editions and this this um applies to any ampere card if if you overclock your ram and cpu and you get dev errors it's actually not the RAM and CPU overclock that you did. It's the graphics card being more loaded, right? It was RBK actually. Yeah, RBK had a Founders Edition and he was getting dev errors. 
Do you guys remember RBK? How he was bitching for a few months there, right? And uh, he pays for a consult and he's like, dude, just fucking dev errors constantly. And I'm like, you have to downclock your, your founder's edition. He's like, and he like, you're in like den denial a little bit. You're like, it can't be my graphics card. I'm like, dude, did you uninstall Afterburner? He's like, yeah. I'm like, reinstall Afterburner, go minus 50. He's like, it can't, that can't be it. I'm like, dude, just trust me, just trust. He's like, and, and, and he said it really, uh, uh, later on after he, after the dev error stopped, I'm like, dude, it's just silicon quality. You have a shit, it's like, it's like the founder's edition plus silicon quality equals you have to downclock that bitch, right? And he's like, it sucks that I have to downclock a $2,500 graphics card just to play Warzone. <laughs> cause, cause in every other game, you can increase the slider, right? So every other game, you can increase the slider. Warzone, you gotta decrease that shit. Oh yeah, dad, uh, dad's a lesbian. Yeah, he had one too. Yeah. He had, he had another Founders Edition. That's another guy, right? Um, uh, dad, um, what, what's your name there? Finesse is cracked. What did you downclock yours to? No, 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 no. RBK in the, in the Discord. He's a, he's just a, he's an old OG in the Discord that had problems for a long time. Um, if you water cool your FE card will a dev error? Probably not. Probably not. Oh no, I'm no, 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 I'm not talking about you, dude. If you're, if you're, if you're at minus 30 right now and it's stable and you're streaming with it, don't touch it. Like there's no point in going more than minus 30. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're minus 30 plus 250, just don't touch it, dude. Just fucking don't touch it. Just, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just enjoy it. Um, that's fine, Vinny. You don't have to worry about it unless it's actually crashing, right? The, like, like, the silicon, the silicon quality of 3090s is so vast, dude. Like, my like i would say like like my worst 3090 can barely do 2025 megahertz at 1.1 volt like my worst one it's a dog shit 3090 dude my best one can do like 2215 at 1.1 volt dude that's a 200 megahertz silicon quality difference that's fucking massive, dude. That's that's not even I don't know how they're binning these things, but this this these two aren't even in the this is a 10% performance difference. And I'm I'm not one to um I'm not one to bin graphics cards or CPUs, but dude, that's 10% performance difference of a bin. It's fucking ridiculous, dude. That Samsung Note is all over the place. It's all over the place, dude. Um, I'd also put it this way. I have this one right now in my gaming rig right now, and I undervolted it to 0 0.1 or 1.0 volt, and I'm running it at 2050 right now. What, what's, what am I running it at here? 2070. So I'm running this. You see how, you see how it's at one volt here? at 2070 this 3090 that i have in my computer right now pulls like 250 watts in warzone and performs better than this one pulling 400 watts that's a 150 watt silicon quality difference so it's not surprising that people with 3090s are having dev error crashes right out of the box and some pe some people can go like plus 100 some people have to go minus 100 dude it's all over the damn place it's fucking crazy dude i'm telling you so the advice that i'm giving is like if you don't have any problems don't mess with it like 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 i'm giving the advice to the people that have the dev errors don't don't like 
don't go and undervolt your shit if you don't have to do you know what i mean like it's all over the place dude um um it's hard okay so we've never we've never been up at a point in history before where a game so shitty as warzone and a graphics card so random with silicon quality as the 3090 before we've never actually had to down clock our cards from the factory before never so when you when i'm in a console that i'm like dude you have to down clock your graphics card to make the dev error stop they like fight me on it they're like they're like that can't be it i'm like dude like it it, it is like it, it is dude trust me like it's it's fucked like you know what i mean like it, it's just it's just the way it is you know what i mean um well uh jonah goldie asks have you ever been able to fix those dev errors by improving gpu cooling i can't because i'm not there like i'm not physically at the person's house right so like like I like like if I'm doing a consult, I'm doing it remotely from my house, right? So I don't know the guy. I don't know what case the guy is using. I don't know what kind of airflow he has. I don't know what climate he's in. Like I don't know if outside is a hundred degrees or some shit, right? All I can do from my place remotely is just down clock it. So I don't know. I can't I can't like go there and install a water cooler for the guy. Do you know what I mean? I all I can do is what I can do remotely to make it work right other than that it's up to the person to like improve his case airflow and that kind of shit right dude why does every kid in quads have c4s um yep okay that was pretty funny you just like ran right into me <laughs> okay fuck me dude that was pretty 